All right, so once that's dry, uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to work my way out with some of the color, kind of you know, make a frame of sorts. And you're going to see like how beautiful the, and translucent the paints are. And they work well with one another. They blend well, and they're highly pigmented. So that what that means is that you can actually water them down a little bit if you'd like. Um, when you open up the bottle, if um, you there's uh, mica chips in them, so if you um, you've had your bottle for a while, you may want to stir it up a little bit. <clears throat> Sometimes the mica chips settle to the bottom. So I'm just going to get a little bit of color out my palette paper, add a little bit of water. You can see how beautiful and vibrant that is. Give you a close up there. And if you water it down a little bit, that kind of gives you like a watercolor effect. I'm just going to start painting around the edges, giving this a pop of color. And you can see with it being translucent, you can still see the um, this over here a little bit. You can still see the the color of the of uh, the papers underneath kind of pop through. And um, just going to add a little bit more. And you can still see the the pastels. And I may end up covering up some of it with some white paint, but for now we're just going to go with that. I'm going to blend in a little bit of the apricot, just a tiny bit. I can always look colored, start coloring in the, um, the colors up on top too, just to kind of give it some color. I usually try to, I actually have more colors out today than I normally use, but I wanted to show you the whole scope of colors. And right now I'm just kind of you know, putting my color down and, and softening it up a little bit. Add a little bit of orange. Just kind of blending everything in. And I'm going to go on to my next color, which I think I'm going to go to the next darkest orange, which is that spicy pumpkin. Use my fingers a lot. You could do this in your journal, um, really anywhere. I kind of like how the silks react on a hard surface. So you may find that if you're using paper or canvas, you may do a little bit differently. So the whole thing is you just kind of play with, you know, um, you know, their surfaces and see what you like best. But you can see how nice and vibrant that is. So I'm gonna go start going over a little bit of the pastel and that even rich enriches the color a little bit more. Now, if you want to do some fun things like get some watermarks on here, I'm going to dribble a little bit of, spray a little bit of water on here, let it soak in for a couple of seconds, and we'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> and then just take my towel and just quickly wipe up the watermarks. Get you a close-up so you can see the really cool watermarks that makes. The thing about mixed media is you can kind of just play with, you know, ideas. And we'll go back up here. Just play with ideas and just kind of see what works, what doesn't work. All right. I'm going to add my vibrant pink. Blend in the colors a little bit. Again, you can see how gorgeous they blend together. Soften up and use your finger or a towel. You 
you're layering both the products and the paint. Give it a little bit of a pop. And you can repeat this process as many times as you want to get the um, full effect that you're looking for. So if it's not dark enough, you can do it again. Or if it's too dark, you can lighten it up with a little bit of white paint. And now I'm going to, let's see here. Just trying to use up my pink. The brown is really dark actually, the cinnamon brown, which is great for framing. Give it that kind of grungy look. I'm just going to go around the edges to kind of give it a finished look. You want to do another let's see, water droplet little effect, you can do that. Let it sit for a second and then just quickly wipe it off. If you want to go back to any of your colors, you can just go back and mash them in. Now, if you were making this into a journal page and you want to have like places to journal, like um, let's see this is it adhered as much as I'd like it to be. Um, but if you want to have places to journal, like this whole area in here would be great to journal. You can also you can soften it up with a little bit of. Um, white paint and let's see here let me fix this let's see if get that air bubble out before it dries add a little bit more Mod Podge to it make sure it seals in there okay. but as I was saying you could like if you want to soften up a little bit if you do want to write some words in here you could certainly do that <clears throat> I'm going to actually get some more of that brown in here. Pink. All right, so there's the um, painted area. Let's grab this here. Give it a close up. Alrighty. <clears throat> the next thing that I'm gonna do is to take the um the modeling cream. I'm going to <clears throat> Decide where I want to add a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to take my palette knife and um, just simply take the cream and add um, a little bit of a layer of the, the cream onto the um, canvas. I'm going to go over my picture just a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's probably better if it's not so perfect so it doesn't look too contrived. Got this here. I'm going to add a little bit of the dots onto here too. 
Oops. The difference between the modeling cream and modeling paste is um, this is kind of like a gel medium infused with um, color and um, this has an iridescent kind of look to it along with um, some of the mica flakes. Just make that kind of cohesive. And then, let's see, I have this one for the word. I think I'm going to add this right in here. Kind of bring it all together. Try just to get that word, not anything else. I can always wipe it off. So now I'm looking at this, and if there's anything I want to blend in or change, um, like now's the time to do it. So I'm going to blend in this a little bit, the peaceful. Give myself a white area, so if I do want to journal in this or write any more words, I can do that. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Sometimes I like to even scratch into my and let's see here. Let's go back and add this. You can make changes if something something doesn't happen to turn out exactly like you wanted. You could just go ahead and paint over it. That's my motto. Sometimes you just got to try to do different things. And I don't know if you can see this, but as I was mentioning before, like when your paint is not totally dry, um, it's like I mentioned, the silks do take a while to cure. So that modeling cream is the, as a pearl color. But because the pigments are not totally dry, they're basically evaporating up. And so um, what that means is the color is going to be infused and whatever is on top of it. So you see where this is kind of turning into the colors of that's underneath it. So it has a little bit of yellow. This is kind of getting more of a pinkish tint. So that just kind of um, happens with this type of paint. And, you know, you kind of embrace it for what it is. And there you go. There's a quick and easy little collage. Go back up here. Oops, sorry. Give you a close up here, and you have all you have all different elements. You have some three D texture with the modeling cream. You have your collage elements with your background papers. You have the translucent paints all nicely blended and framed out. An image transfer, some scratching, and a little bit of pastels underneath to kind of give it some more grungy texture underneath it. You can continue on and do as many different layers as you like or you know you know put a, a whole other white layer on it add start adding in more color you know really just kind of play with ideas and see how simple and um, quickly these come together so hope you enjoyed my little demo I do, do teach classes at uh, Dreaming in Color their art village where we feature some more um, really great techniques on um, a variety of their different their products or several artists that have classes over there and I teach two personally and have a few more coming up so thank you for um, hanging out with me today in my studio and uh, doing this really cool painted collage. So uh, my name is Jody Ull once again. Please visit me at my blog, Sweet Repeats, anytime you're in the neighborhood. Over and out.